All right, everybody. I am about to run a guided surf fishing trip right here along the Alabama Gulf Coast. We are going to be in the Fort Morgan area this evening. And if you are interested in booking a guided surf fishing trip with me, look me up at my website, g2coastal.com. You can look me up on Facebook. Just type in g2coastal and you're going to find me. And if you're watching this video, obviously, you've already found me one way or another. But we are going to get out there and see what we get stirred up this evening. So go ahead and check it out. I'm back. Look pretty. Right. I'll, I'll do the, the work and then we'll see what we can get stirred up. All right. So what we're going to do here to start with, we are going to get some fish gum and some salt cured shrimp. I'm going to get that thrown out here on a couple rigs. We're going to keep a widening rig halfway close over here. And then we're going to go pump up some ghost shrimp. These are the these are the ghost shrimp mounds. Yeah, okay. yeah. Actually, we'll just see if we can get one pumped up right here where it's nice and shallow. And what I'll do, I'll give them about three pumps each. Yeah. If I don't get one out, I move on to the next. This is an active one right here. Watch those. You can see how it's spitting sand up out of those. Yeah. These ought to. Means active. Yeah. This one ought to be really easy. He ought to be pretty shallow. I'll say that, and he'll be a mile deep, and I won't <laughs> get him up, but. All right, there's a little bitty guy. Yeah. Little bitty, that's, let me get him washed off so you can see him a little better. But that is a little bitty ghost shrimp. Mm. We'll try to find some bigger ones. He's not quite big enough to use. Yeah. We'll, we'll find some. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That's a male. Oh, wow. The males have that big long claw on them. Huh. It doesn't hurt. It scares you more than anything. Yeah. But I go ahead and break that off. I get rid of it. Huh. I got them over there doing my dirty work, pumping up more ghost shrimp for me. Over here. I'm gonna get him hooked there. Okay, we're hooked up. We're, we're hooked up on there. Okay, hold it up here with your right hand. It's gonna give you a little more control of that rod. And it's it's a mile out there, okay? It's it's a good ways. Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. Yeah, I was gonna say yes. We, we can hold it up there if we need to, absolutely. Now they're gonna get real squirrely when they get up here in the shallow water. It's a, it's a big lady fish. Keep yeah, keep see it, see it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, oh, see it jump. There you go. And once you get up here, if you want to start walking backwards, that's good. That's good. How do I hold it? Just like that. Squeeze it. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, make sure you're facing the sun. Get that fit. No, you're good. Just right here. Hold it out. Make it look gigantic. There we go. That's the way to do it. Now give it a kiss <laughs> and send it back. <laughs> uh just walk it out there a little ways and chuck it. it it'll get out of here if you drop it up here there's no water but over there it'll be fine all right we got that skunk out of the way that, that's the ticket i'm just gonna leave this hanging yeah out here. yeah absolutely um i'm gonna get that one rigged up again and then i'm putting ghost shrimp on everything okay. and i'm probably gonna just launch oh, yeah. them all cool. it's not very far out and it's not a very big fish but that fish has probably been on there since we saw it get a hit earlier oh, yeah. That's probably been hooked up for 10 minutes now, but there we go. Got us a whiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I said that, <laughs> when I said that got a hit earlier, he's probably been on there the whole time. Yeah. But yeah, there ain't nothing on there that can hurt you. They're a little squirrely. They're they're kind of hard to get on and off sometimes, but yep. <laughs> there he goes. But these conditions out here are just perfect to throw these Carolina rigs. It is super simple. I think I got a half ounce or three quarters i'm not sure I, I could go i mean a quarter ounce out here in this surf conditions but uh i think that's actually 14 pound fluorocarbon normally i would go 10 i just don't have any with me and then typically i would actually use a smaller hook that's just a size one circle hook but a lot of times i'll drop that down to like a size four and throw it out here but carolina rigs and this flat calm surf they're great great little setups so what i will do with these go shrimp i will try to thread them on the hook multiple times here get it latched on the best that i can and then go absolutely wild with your magic thread the stuff is dirt cheap you don't have to worry about it plugging up the the hook gap those fish are going to bite right through it so don't be afraid if you're going over that hook gap it ain't going to stop the fish from getting to the the barb of the hook to go wild just wrap that dude up as much as you want and you'll be good oh oh hooked up down there on the carolina rig all right 
Yeah. Okay, I promise I won't yell at you like that. There we go. Yep. That's another whiting right here. Yep. That's why I love these Carolina rigs in these flat conditions. Oh, oh. I mean, that's a keeper whiting right there. Oh. Come here. Come here. You got to get a picture with it, right? Yeah. You got him? Hey. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I promise I won't hand you anything that can hurt you. But if you, just, this is what I'm calling the gill plate right there. If you hold that gill plate, you you got complete control of him. See how he can flop that tail around? But if you hold him any farther back, you don't have a whole lot of control like that. Oh, yeah, keep an eye on, yeah, yeah, he's hooked up. He's hooked up. Now, don't set the hook. Yeah, with these circle hooks, just start reeling. There you go. Yep, there, there's times where you'll set that hook with these circle hooks and you pull it right out of their mouths. That looks like another ladyfish. See how it's coming up to the top, doing a lot of jumping? It's the hillbilly tarpon, man. Yep, a lot of people hate on them. Not me. I think they're a blast to catch, especially because that dude was jumped completely out of the oh, water yeah. out there. I mean, it's... And these are big ladyfish. That's good. You don't you have don't to reel that. Leave? No, no. Are they bony? They're not bony. The meat is mush. Oh. Yeah. There's a fish on. Manny, you want it? Come get it. <laughs> I'm going to bring it to you. I didn't even get that sat down. It was on there. Knock on wood, we're gonna find that pompano we want tonight. Is that a Spanish or is that a ladyfish? You got you a Spanish mackerel on there. I sure do. Look got there. Teeth, yes, they oh, have they teeth. teeth that's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to reel it in anymore. Cool. Heck yeah. Yeah, you look towards the sun. It'll make that fish look nice and pretty. Now make sure you're taking good pictures because I want you all to send me some because I've not taken any pictures today. There you go. I want that picture. <laughs> That's the picture I want. That's a good picture for real. I like that. You got to have fun while you're out here. All right. Uh, did he say? Yeah, he's on there. Apparently, we're just going to have one rod out at a time. <laughs> I can't even get two of them hooked up out there. But yeah, I mean, this this has been the most active the fish have been all week. That's good, though. The, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is making me, making me feel good this evening. I'll grab that rod make it a little easier for you awesome man oh that's always that fun good it's on there it's on there real catch that slack yep real quick and catch up to it yep <laughs> sometimes they swim right back at you sometimes the lady fish they'll throw that hook you think it through it kind of sort of maybe no idea yet Oh, there he is. There we go. And it might be another Spanish. Spanish will swim really fast in at you, too. What do we got? Spanish or ladyfish? Looks, looking like a lady, I think. All right. Go ahead and toss that back there. You need a glamour shot with it? Definitely. Well, I'm going to throw this one out. Somebody just get ready to reel it in. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is nuts. I like it when the fish make my job easy because they don't always do that. There's some days that make me want to cry it's so slow out here. See a little bit. It's not a terrible whiting, actually. That's a pretty good little whiting. Yeah, that's that's a solid whiting right there. Just been catching those hard fighting ladyfish, but that that is that's a great size whiting. Heck yeah, man. But yeah, I mean anytime you catch a whiting like that, that's great, man. right there is it start walking backwards with that dude start walking backwards with that dude there we go hey, there hey. we got the keeper pompano oh. we just had to let those lady fish That's slow right, down man. for a moment that guy's a keeper too he's a, he's definitely every bit of 12 inches so oh, yeah. awesome now i've got nothing but pompano on the brain after we got one in oh yeah he's definitely on there i can tell yeah, I would love for y'all to get a couple more pompano. And catching more than one or two pompano in this time of year, it's not the easiest thing to do, but he's running way over there. Yeah. That, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Start walking backwards with him. Start walking backwards. Just keep walking back. Keep that rod tip up and walk backwards. Keep walking backwards. There we go. There we go. That's another no doubter. All right. Just grab him and squeeze the crap out of him on those gills you're keeping him don't worry about hurting him don't step on that that's right there in front of you yeah get nice and close too hold 
Hold that fish oh, way wow. out, yeah. Make it look like a monster. That's the way to do it. Have that line sagged way down real fast and catch up with that fish. There we go. Come on, one more pump. If we get one more pump tonight, I'd be super excited. Come on, baby, be a pump. So is it? Walk backwards with it. Keep that up and walk backwards with it. Keep walking back, keep walking back, keep walking back. There we go. All right. Now I am about 99.9% .9 sure he's 12. I'm gonna measure him real quick though. We want to be a hundred percent sure. Oh yeah. We can squeeze him to 13. He's another keeper. Got him. 